Hello everybody, this is Scott and today I'll be showing you the proper configuration settings for 360 Total Security. First of all, make sure you go to your settings real quick and change your settings like this. This, you do not need this on, I use it because I'll occasionally like to share things with them through the Facebook Connect. But scan compressed files during full disk scan, uncheck this, add 360 to Total Security to explore a context menu. Uh, I always have the cloud analysis. If they have not figured out what the file is, I will always submit it. This is your th Chrome support. I should have already had that installed. Uh, the, if you use this, you'll want to use that. Enable 360 protection settings. That means the program will be on a priority list to always launch before anything else on the computer. And therefore, it, it also cannot be shut down through normal means. Through the task manager, you cannot normally shut this program down with the self protection module. This is because it's going to have, even if it's not, it won't be using as much RAM as if it normally would, but it has the protection feature to prevent malware from trying to get a hold of it. Perform optional, additional, automatically, and backup original file in the quarantine. Do this. Monitor all files. Configure all these settings. Go to your quarantine. These are quarantines that I have. Trust and block, that doesn't really matter. And then your patch up is. There we go. I mean, this is. Turn off Windows Update. This is. This is just your uh, patch up. These are all fine settings. And then the other thing is you want to go to your protection module. And instead of being in the. You want to switch your mode and make sure that it's set to custom. On your custom, have everything selected. Everything selected. I didn't have that one. I feel like an idiot. And they should all be selected pr properly. And uh, quick rundown: your download file scan. Anytime you download a file, 360 Total Security will scan it to make sure it's not malicious. Malicious website blocking. It'll block your connection to known malicious website. Shopping protection is going to go to sites that are known to have a bad reputation with uh, shopping and also phishing scams. Malicious behavior blocking is going to scan for programs that make sure that they're not trying to step out of bounds as we've already established before. Scan a file when it's saved. When you save a file, make sure it's going to scan it to make sure that it's a safe file. And when it's open, it's going to see if the file is safe. While in the process of opening, if it tries to step out of bounds, it will warn you about it. Network threat blocking will scan even items coming through your network to make sure that they are found to be safe. The Bitdefender scan engine will always will use the Bitdefender engine for your real-time security, and your your Avira scan engine will also be used for real-time security and the scanning of your computer. Thank you very much for watching. Please stand, please stay tuned for the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments below, and I will make sure to help. And I'll make sure to help you. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.